why do bad things happen to good people? I'm the wrong person to be asking that question. You know what? Because I'm also looking for an answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you drinking? What's your story? What, what is bothering you? I'll just say that I had to accept something that I don't want. Truth is, I've already accepted it. It's my fate. Yeah. And why would you accept something if you don't want it? Because I do not have a choice. Uh-huh. I don't. Hmm. Although, I wish that I could say no. But hey, I don't. I don't have a choice in the matter. <clears throat> How about you? I mean, I mean, I saw you crying. Sure, go ahead. I can always give you more. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like. Ah, uh, that's my girl. You know, the truth is this. Oh. I have more bottles of champagne in my car. You do? Mm -hmm. Once I'm done here, mm. I'm going straight to my car to drink some more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm lost at a, a hotel. You know the hotel beside this place? Mm. That's where I'm lost at. I think there's something bothering you. Do you want to talk about it? Nah, nah. I don't want to talk about it. You're sure? I, yes, I want to get over it. That's the whole point of me being here drinking tonight. Okay? It's gone. Problem solved. <laughs> I think I also want to get drunk, like really, really drunk tonight as well. So, so what are we waiting for? Let's get drunk. Let's let's enjoy life together. I mean, life is just too fleeting. And so many people take life way too seriously. I think life is meant to be enjoyed. So go ahead. Fill me with this. Sure. Mm -hmm. More for the quiz. Oh. Ah, ah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers to a fun night. And We're getting drunk. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And to so our problem. <laughs> going We're forgetting away. about anything bothering oh, you yeah. just for tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. so cheers to cheers that to again. Uh -huh. Woo! Mm. Mm. <sighs> this is good. I know. Oh. It's killing me. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. Alcohol is good. I call it Uncle Hall because <laughs> he always takes care of me. Takes care of things. <laughs> oh my god.
Did I do something wrong? No, 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 no. It's not you, it's me. I, I don't understand. How would you feel if you're accused constantly of causing someone's pain? I, I, I still don't understand what you You would understand, concerned. it's a long story. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Okay, fine. Oh <clears throat> Do you want to talk about it? Mm -mm, no. No way. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to. Why? No, can you just stop talking? Come here. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Come. You talk to me. Why? Yeah, I will take it. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Call. Look at the time. What is all this? It's too late now. It's too late. Mom, mom, Henry is not a kid. I don't think he's coming back home tonight. But this has not happened before. I mean, he hasn't stayed out without telling us he would. And he doesn't do this when I'm around. Well, maybe he's probably still upset with you. Well, and he has every right to be. Are you trying to say your brother is upset with me? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's still upset with you. Why should he be happy after manipulating him to do what he doesn't want? Me, Gina, manipulate him. How? Mom, it was a difficult decision. And he only agreed to do it because of you. That's not true. I did not manipulate him. He knows. He's a wise boy. He knows we have no other option. So he expected him to say no. For my enemies to laugh at me. Yeah? Man, leave your enemies out of this. Look, he only agreed to do this to please you. At least give him some time to process the whole, the whole situation. He's probably alone thinking, I don't even love her. What do you mean? Doesn't... Are you talking about Eve? Yes, I'm talking about Eve. So what did she do to, to deserve this dislike? She's arrogant, lazy, doesn't know how to control her mouth, always, always feeling too big over nothing. It's not true. How do you know? How do you know? You're saying this because you probably do not like her. I'm sure if you give her a chance, you will see the good part of her. Mom, you, you're only saying this because of what you intend to gain in all of this. So you choose that over your son's happiness, huh? Nelson. There's God, though. Nelson. Hmm. Nelson, you're running your mouth too much, have you lost? I don't like the way you're running your mouth. Have you forgotten I'm your mother? You just called me manipulated a few seconds ago. I ignored it. Now you're still running your you're, you're, you're not too big to give back hand. You're not. Oh. Mom, it's late. I'm tired. We should get some rest. You are who? You are who? I'm sure he has contacted you. That's why you're so relaxed. Go, go to your bed. You are, are, are we sleeping on the same bed? Mommy, I don't know where he is, though. I don't know. Mm, I'm sure you uh, don't know. Good night, Mom. Sweet dreams. Good night. Sweet. Nelson. Wizard. I'm sure you know where your brother is. You won't tell me. What kind of problem is this one? You want to give me high blood pressure? I can look at the time. I hope he's okay, though.
Hey. Hey. Babe, can I come in? So when do you plan on getting your job back? I can't. What do you mean you can't? Hmm? If you don't, how are we going to feed? How are you going to pay the rent? How are you going to pay for therapy? How are you going to take care of me? How are you going to buy my drugs? How are you even going to get anything done? You don't need to worry yourself about that. I'm going to ask my friend for a catering job while I look for something better on the side. A catering job? Yes, it's it's just for a short period of time. Oh I'm going to look for something oh my better goodness, while I Oh my it. goodness, oh my goodness. Fiona, please help me make sense of this. What kind of a person are you? You had the opportunity to make sure all our luck was gone. But no, you just had to be yourself and blow it. Because of some senseless pride. It's not about pride, Daniela, and you know that. It's about my dignity. Your dignity? Yes. The same dignity that if it was staring at you in the face, you wouldn't even recognize it. Don't talk to me like that. I'm still your elder sister. An elder sister that doesn't know what to do. You don't know the right thing to do. Oh, I get it. You enjoy walking around and seeing me in this chair, right? You want me to be in this chair for the rest of my life. That has always been your plan. Why would you say a thing like that, Daniela? Huh? It will be the happiest day of my life the day I see you walk again. Don't say mean things like that to me. And um, Madam Dignity, so where did you sleep last night? Do you even care to know where I slept? No, I don't care. I just care about the fact that you're such a pretender that you can sleep with someone for accommodation, but you can sleep to make our lives better. I paid my job today. Excuse me, what? I said I did my job. I am jobless. And why would you do such a stupid thing? I told him my former boss sold the company to someone else before he relocated to America. So the new owner retained me as his personal assistant, but he wants more. He wants more how? I, I had two options to quit my job or become his second wife. And that way I don't have to pay bills ever again. Oh, 
So I see what you did. You quit your job so you can be a second wife. No, I can't accept that. Why would I do that? Fiona, what is wrong with you? What in God's green earth is wrong with you? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and you just blew it. Tanela, that man has a family. He's old enough to be my father. So what? So what? Women, girls, get married to men old enough to be their grandfather. There is nothing special about you. So what can't you do what every other person would have done in I this situation? I will not get married to any man because of his money. If I do that, I'll lose my dignity, my value. I'll lose all of it. Well, you would I do that? You've already lost your value and dignity. When you took my parents away from me. They were my parents too, Daniela. Oh, but you didn't think about that when you were spending the money and when you put me in this chair. I did not use any of that money for myself. I used it on you. I paid your hospital bills, Daniela. You were going to cut off your legs, Daniela, and I did not want that. Oh. <laughs> That's what you were expecting, right, for me to clap? Because in case you haven't noticed, there's no difference here. Whether my legs were cut off or whether they're still on, a useless leg is a useless leg. It is not the same thing. There's a difference. You have a leg. It is not the same thing. Anyway, I don't expect you to understand. You know what? I'm done having this conversation with you. Just get out. Get out! You disgust me. I'm your blood sister. I don't care. I don't care. Just get out. How many times do I have to say, I hate you? In how many languages do I have to say, I hate you? In how many books do you want me to say, I hate you before you get it into your dumb, stupid skull? You disgust me! There's nothing special about you. God, why me? I do everything to make Daniela happy, yet I feel unappreciated. Why do I feel this guilt? Even though I know I wasn't the cause of the accident, but why this guilt? Oh, oh I miss you, Dad. I miss you. I miss you so much. I'm trying my best to take care of Daniel. I'm trying to do everything right by her. God sees my heart. I'm trying, trying. It's draining me, but I'm trying. Why <sighs> me? God. Ah, oh, Daniela. Morning, bro. Morning. What's up? Where are you coming from? What's up with you? You don't look happy. What happened to you? It's nothing, Nelson. I'm fine. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, I won't accept that. I don't believe you. Why don't you believe me? Look at my face. I'm happy. Come on now, bro. Look, I can detect a fake smile from afar. You're not happy. Besides, you don't even acknowledge me when I ask up a whereabouts. That's so unlike you. I'm really sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I promise it won't happen again, okay? Well, I will only accept your apology if you tell me what happened to you last night. 
Last night. Yeah, last night. You did not sleep at home last night. Something bad must have really happened to you. On the contrary, Nelson. Something good happened to me last night. Okay. Um, do you want to talk about it? Well, you're the only one I can tell this. But mom cannot know anything about this, okay? She cannot find out. Bro, you know your secret is always safe with me. Alright, sit. Henry, I used to thinking about her. I made a big mistake. I should have asked for her number. I don't even have any means to reach her. I think it's for the best. You might not be seeing her again. She probably is married. Married? Yeah. She left you before you woke up because she felt guilty that she cheated on her husband. No, no. I don't think she's married. I didn't see any ring on her finger. Well, even if she's not married, she's probably in a very serious relationship. Didn't you say you don't understand what she was trying to say to you? Yes, I, I didn't know exactly why she was crying. I'm sure it's because of the man. That's what most women do. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think it was because of a man. Well, it doesn't matter what you think. You need to stop thinking about a woman you barely know and focus on what you have in front of you. What do I have in front of me? Your food. <laughs> This is really good. You should be having a piece of this. Hi, Nelson. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Is, is Henry expecting you? <laughs> sure. Eve. Hi, darling. What? what are you doing here? What? Didn't your mother tell you? Tell me what? Well, she suggested that I move in with you before our marriage. And I think it's a great idea. Besides, why was your phone switched off last night? Um... I am asking you a question. Why are you looking at him? That's because he's, he's in a better position to answer the question. Yes, um, Eve, I borrowed Henry's phone last night to you and I totally forgot to charge it. It's my fault you couldn't reach him. You borrowed his phone? Look, if your old phone is bad, why can't you buy a new one? My phone is not bad and it's certainly not old. Can we just go to the room now? See, sure. Help me with my bag. I missed you. Why did you be really like for you? Because I would have told her the truth. When you're terrible at lying. I know. If you had told her the truth, mom won't be happy. Yeah, I know. You know what? You need to lie to her as much as possible. Why would you advise me to lie? Nelson, I thought you were a moral man. Forget morality. Look, she must never find out that you had a one night stand. Honestly, I don't care. Uh, bro, you have to care. Okay, fine. I've heard you. I'm coming! Don't mess this up for me. Yeah, I've heard you now it's it. I know. Daniela, you don't have to insult me at the slightest opportunity you get all the time. Why do you do this? What is wrong with us? I miss us being sisters. We used to be very close. We used to be friends, Daniela. I don't even know what we are now. Emphasis on used to. 
we used to. And stop pretending like you don't know what happened to us. It's all your fault. It's not my fault. The drunk driver puts you in this wheelchair, not me. Is that what you tell yourself at night before you go to sleep? Really? Yes, really. And that guy is paying for his sins. He's paying for what he did to us. And you know that. He was sentenced to life imprisonment, Daniela. He can get the death penalty for all I care. And us? Did you say us? No. What happened to you? What happened to you? That man needs our forgiveness. You keep using the words us, our word. Like anything happened to you. Something happened to me. Something happened to my parents. But nothing happened to you. So no, he doesn't deserve my forgiveness. You were my parents too, Daniel. Remember? I don't care. This is no one here. Look. I miss us. I want us to be the way we used to be. I miss our friendship. I miss our sisterhood. I miss all of it. I miss us. I'm tired of the back and forth with you all the time. I want us to be back together like we used to be. But that will never happen. You think that if I was walking, I would live under the same roof as you? You just stop. Can you just stop? Fiona, I hate you. Every time I see you, the only thing I feel is hate and there's room for nothing else. I'm disgusted by the mere sight of you. I feel rage. Every time you walk into a room, you suck the life out of it and you choke me. Can you just stop? When will you stop? This is what we do back and forth every day. Can you just stop? Stop it! Don't do that! Don't! Stop, Daniela! Why can't you stop this? Stop it! I will stop when you bring my parents back! What you did I do? Stop it! Oh my god, can you just stop? You do what you got! Stop it! You will not get more! Right. Mom, you should have discussed it with me before you invited her over. Now she wants us to live together as a couple, even before we fix a date for the wedding. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know you would like the idea. Of course I won't like it. I am not ready for any courtship. I agreed to marry her for your sake. Like you always say, it's all for the benefit of the family. I've given up my happiness for your selfish interest. I resume your speaking to like this. So you want my enemies to laugh at me? Mom, I am sorry, but the only reason I am doing this is because of your political ambitions. Yes, I know you're eager to get us married. I know her father is very influential, but I do not have any interest in politics. It doesn't matter if you're not interested in politics. My political ambition is of immense value and good for this family. For the future of your children and that of your brother. Nelson can be anything he wants to be if he has interest. He can be a governor, a senator, whatever he wants to be in this country. Look at the big names. The dangotes, the hotel dollars. This is how it starts. The rich marry the rich. They unite and become powerful. I love that. I envy it. That is what I want. I want more money. I want influence. I want to stamp my feet on this earth. I want to be influential in this country. Don't you want that, son? Mom, please, please stop comparing us with these people. Stop it. With or without your political ambitions, I am very capable of providing for my unborn children. Ah. I've got a good job. I've got good investments. I built this house I live in. It's not enough. Well, it is enough for me, Mom. No, it's not. Okay, hold on. 
Are you going to tell me to my face that you have no feelings for Eve? I don't. I don't love her, mom. But you've been sleeping with her before I asked you to propose. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> that look. Yeah, she opened up to me. Now, obviously, she didn't tell you the whole truth. Which is? We've just been sleeping together for fun. There's no attachments. It's called friends with benefits. Well, she got attached. While you were playing your game of friends with benefits, she fell in love with you. So my advice is you do the same. Well, Mom, it doesn't work that way. I do not choose who I fall in love with. I do not have control over my feelings. What do you know about love? Anyway, don't worry. You'll fall in love with her when you marry her. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Mom, I would not. How I do you even know that? Look, Mom, there's no point arguing with you. There's no point trying to convince you because you've made up your mind already. Good night. Good night, your own. Yeah, that reminds me, Mom. When are you leaving? What? Are you chasing me away? No, I, I just want to know, Mom. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe soon. Okay. He wants to chase me away. So carry me on your head. It's not as if we haven't done it before. And you have never refused me. I think we should hold on until our wedding night. Are you seriously joking with me? No, I'm not joking. We'll soon fix a date for our wedding. I believe that we should make our wedding night special. Come on, babe. Every time. Don't with you is always special. Nothing is going to change. Could we have sex now? Like if we had an agreement that there was not going to be any attachment. Really? When you were busy spreading my legs and screwing me, didn't you know that we were going to get attached? But with no feelings involved. Well, mine got involved, so deal with it. Can you just stop all oh, Wait, look, I just... I don't buy the idea of us having sex right now. Let's just wait till our wedding night, please. You should have discussed this with me before. You should have discussed it with me before coming to live here with me. It's called cut shit. Well, I don't believe in that. But guess what? You're here. And I respect your opinion. Would you kindly respect mine too? Huh. You know what? Whatever. Do as you please. Do as you wish too. Good night. Hey. Don't, 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 don't you dare touch me. I said good night. I don't care. Fine. Fine. Someone at the door. Why didn't you get it? Oh, Peggy. 
Hey, why did you take so long to open the door? I told you I was coming. I know. I'm, I'm so sorry. I was, I was in the kitchen. Come. I'm so sorry. Sit. Hi, Daniela. How are you? Does your sister still behave like the devil? My sister is not the devil. I did not say she's the devil. I asked if she still behaved like the devil. No. Why are you always covering up for her despite her nasty attitude? Do you know she really needs to loosen up? I'll probably start going out. I'm sure she'll find a man despite the fact that she can't walk. Then me that I have two legs and can walk. How many men have I found? Fiona, you decided not to get a man. Peggy, like you said you wanted to tell me something, and that's why you're here, so can we? Yes, I do, actually. So... And before we go there, what do I offer you? Food? But I think we should talk first. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm all ears. So you know I have rich friends and poor friends, right? I'm not poor. I know you're in the middle. It's a compliment. You should smile. Not smiling. That's your wahala. So I have this rich friend, yeah? And she just moved into her fiance's place. She's rich and her father is very wealthy. She doesn't work and she doesn't know how to cook. Her chef recently relocated and she's looking for someone. So I told her about you. Really? Mm -hmm. So what did she say? Remember that egusi soup you made for me the last time? Mm -hmm. She came visiting and she had a taste of it. And I told her you were the one that made it. So, she said she wants you to come over the weekend to make her something. And the monthly pay is very good. You can even be her personal assistant, just in case she wants you to run some errands. The pay is generous. And it can sustain you and your sister. Thank you so much, Peggy. I really appreciate this. Thank you. I thought you said you were not going to smile. Oh, come on, I'm happy. This is, this is good news. Look, I'm laughing. I'm not just smiling. Thank you. Yeah. At least I get to earn some money. You deserve it. And see, if you impress her, she's going to retain you. It's just that she might need your services every time. And it might require you to stay at her place, maybe a day, two, or even more. But see, the pay is very generous. Hope you don't mind. Not at all. I don't mind. Daniela would love every bit of this because she loves to stay alone in the house. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You've been my friend for a very long time. And I remember what happened. It's not your fault. Daniela can't continue to blame you for everything that happened. Like, see, you need to speak up and stop her from constantly controlling you. I just, I just want peace, okay? Peace? Yeah. Daniela doesn't want peace. And you should give her what she wants, which is war. War? Yes. Never. Come on now. Come on. I'll just allow her do her thing. I'll, I'll let her have her space. Let her do whatever she wants. I don't want Wahala. What's Wahala? Fiona, you're too soft. And this is one thing Daniela has seen, and which is why she takes you for granted. You've shown her so much care. You've given her your time and attention. But yeah, she never appreciates it. When is all of this going to stop? It will not stop. She's my sister. She's the only family I have. That's all I have. It's just both of us. When our parents died, the family abandoned us. It's just been me and her. And I love my sister so much. She could be annoying, and but I still love her. You know what? This is the last time I'm going to have to discuss you and your sister. To be honest, she's what food do you have? I knew you were going to go back there. I don't want continental dishes, so I want African dishes. Do you have mm. ohasu? That's exactly what I mean. Are you serious? Yes. Wait, what do you want to eat? Semo. Dead or alive animals? No, put them alive. You eat <laughs> them. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, that's your friend. That's always going to be malnourished, no matter what she eats in the world. Finally convinced you to be a glorified maid to a rich, sports brat. I mean, is that the dumbest idea I've heard or what? 
There's but a, I guess that's why I'm going to be your best friend. There's a difference between a chef and a maid. Is there? And last I checked, you've never seen the four walls of a culinary school. The fact that you can whip up a thing or two in the kitchen doesn't magically make you a chef. <laughs> and I'm glad you admit that I can cook. I mean, that's the sweetest thing you've said to me in a very long while. I'm happy. I'm impressed. Fiona, wait. Let me just ask you this. How low can you go, really? Why would you even accept such a job? I mean, why all you had to do was marry the man. And why don't you marry this man since you want him so much? I'm in a wheelchair, dummy. And you put me here. There she goes again. Always looking for the slightest opportunity to mount blames on me and accuse me falsely. What did I do to you, Daniela? What? I don't even know the day accident happened. What? You want me to take you down memory lane? Dad, never wanted to drive that car. Hmm. You were the one that called dad and mom to come pick you. So if you think for one second that I am suddenly going to develop amnesia and forget that you're the reason why I am on this chair, you're the reason why our parents are no longer here, and you're the reason why my life is so miserable, then you, my darling, are very delusional. Because I will never forget. Why do you derive so much pleasure in, in hurting my feelings? Why? Why do you do that? Your feelings? I think you're void of them. Because if you had any feelings, you'd have married the man. Yeah, run along. Start practicing your maid duties. I'm about to go to work. It's 8.15 a.m. Uh -huh. Alright, have your mother made you breakfast? My mom. Yes, do you want to go to work with an empty stomach? Eve, can you listen to yourself? What am I listening to myself for again? So you expect my mother to cook for you? I didn't say that. Do you want to go to work with an empty stomach? But that's what you were implying. That's if my mother wasn't here, wouldn't you cook for me? That's I mean, look at the time. I had to wake you up. Okay, babe, it's fine. We don't have to argue about this, okay? I already got a check. She'll be resuming very soon. You know what? I promised to give your mother a good treat before she leaves. And I encourage you and your Please don't bother yourself about the chef, okay? We do not need the unnecessary expenses. Whatever you cook, I'll eat it. Come on. Don't worry about the expenses. I'll sort out the bill. It's not about the bills, Eve. We do not need a chef in this house. Nelson is a good cook. If you're tired, he will help you out. He cooks for me whenever he's around. I don't need him to help me out, okay? I just told you that I have a chef. You know what? Suit yourself. I'm out. We'll see you later. No, you're not hungry now. Mom, good morning. Good morning, dear. Your breakfast is ready. I don't think I have the time for it, Mom. Uh, no, I won't let you go to work without having something to eat. Come on, please come and sit down and eat. No matter how long you look at your wristwatch, I won't let you go to work without food. You can't walk on an empty stomach. Come in. All right, fine. Oh. At least eat something. Huh. <sighs> 
Fred, where are you going? I'm going for a brief meeting with a client. I won't take long. Oh, babe, I reminded you yesterday that I'll be giving you and your family a good treat. The cook is almost here. Don't bother about the cook. Prepare anything, I'll eat it. Come on, babe, I've been here for a few days. I know your brother Nelson, he likes cooking, but he's just stressing himself. His mates are out there looking for something meaningful to do, but he's just home pressing his laptop. Eve, how can you say such a thing about my brother? Come on, I'm not far from the truth. He's always home. Nelson works from home most times. He's a website creator. Whatever. So when will you be back? I'll be back as soon as I can. Hey! Hmm. You're safe, okay? Yeah. Hey, bro. Hey, Nels. What's up? Okay. So, um... Your bride-to-be is bringing someone to the house to cook for you. Are you aware? Yes. I'm quite aware. I told her not to bother, but... She's chose not to stick to my decision. Well, who cares? I really don't. She can do whatever it is that she likes. After her mom approves of it. But... Mom is not the one getting married to her. You are. If you're not happy with any decisions, you have every right to oppose them. Look, you need to do that now before you place a ring on her finger. She already has a ring on her finger. I'm talking about the wedding ring. The day both of you become man and wife. Nelson, you should know me by now. I really do not care. She can do whatever it is that she likes. Look, I do not want anything to distract me from my work. And you do know that high blood pressure is very real and very deadly. Uh, you're not serious. I'm being very serious here. What? Seriously, I don't think she knows how to cook. Why would you even say that? Well, think about it. Ever since she moved into the house, she has never assisted me once in cooking. Now, I am not complaining, but I expected that she must have at least tried to cook for you especially. Try to impress you with her skills. I really do not care about that. Are you telling me before you made it official, you, she never cooked for you at her place? Well, I've only been to her place once and that was on her birthday. Other times we go to her father's hotel and we order food always. Okay, well, if you don't have any problem with her not cooking for you, then I have nothing else to say. Hey bro, thanks for your concern. I really do appreciate it, bro. But you have nothing to worry about. We'll, we'll talk more about it when I get back, okay? Okay, no problem. All right. Don't be late, though. I won't. All right, be safe. Hi, right, bro. I'm on my way to work. Is there anything you want me to get for you on my way back? Hmm? Um, I don't know when I'll be back from work today, but if you need anything or want anything, just call or text and I'll always reply. Hmm? I know you can hear me. Okay. Oh, there's no soothsayer that can convince me that your food will not be delicious. I cannot just perceive the aroma. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> Thank you. You're really funny. <laughs> Wait until you meet my brother. We're almost birds of the same feather. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So are you like a writer or something? I wish I were. But I think I am good with words. Hmm, you do have a way with words. 
Anyways, I create websites. That's what I do. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I know. Thank you. I hope you're not going to chase me away because I am here to assist you. No, I can't, I I can't to... let you. Just, I'm fine. I'm good, okay? Nelson! What are you doing here? I just went to a sister. Ah. As the executive assistant that you are, did I employ you? I employed her to cook for me. You don't have to shout. Don't, don't raise your voice at me. I will raise my voice at you. Listen, if you're looking for a girlfriend, go elsewhere, okay? And who says I'm looking for a girlfriend? Really? You, with your eyes like this, I know you are looking for one. And you, if not because Peggy told me that you know how to cook, I would have had you thrown out of this kitchen immediately. I'm really sorry, Miss Eve. I swear this, this won't happen again. Again? Let's get your choker. After this, I'm letting you go. You are fired. Please don't, don't throw me out. Don't sack me. I really need this job. I'm sorry. Please. So you do? Yes, I do. Yet you're talking to a man. You know what? I'll think about it. If you like, let him deceive you with his fake chest. Look, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Even if she doesn't take you back, at least my brother and my mom will take you back. They will employ you. And if they're not interested, I will employ you. I promise, okay? You have nothing to worry about. Okay. Don't worry. Mom, mom, I don't care if Eve is going to be my brother's wife. She has no right to raise her voice at me. I would not tolerate it. Nancy, calm down. She's still in this house. She might just hear you. I don't care. I don't care if she hears me. Nonsense. Look, she's very lucky I'm not the one in my brother's shoes. She should not try that with me again. No. I am an impatient man. Yes, sir. I've heard you. I will talk to her. You talk to her? That's what I said. I don't, I don't, talk to I don't, I don't, I don't even see that happening. I don't see that happening. Ever, ever since she moved into this house, you've been treating her like she's one raw egg that's about to break. Eve, have you eaten? Eve, are you okay? Eve. Can I, can I, can I, can I look after you? If is it not time for you to rest? She does absolutely nothing in this I house. I said I will talk to her. Do not talk to her. Warn her. And why are you yelling at me? See, mom, respect is reciprocal. If she, if she, if she steps on my toes again, I will give it to her hot, hot. You know what you're doing. We can boy, you people know what you're doing. When you're not telling that this girl is a new ticket for, for my political ambition. I will be a senator in this federal republic, whether you can like it or not. Foolish boy. Oh, I know this. Ah, Mom, you should come back home early. I don't like this. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hmm. This place smells really nice. Welcome back. I am. Um... Welcome back. Thank you. Why are you home so late? And why weren't you picking up my calls? Um, sorry, I was in a meeting with a client. My phone wasn't silent. Sorry if I'm coming late. You're actually early. I thought you were going to arrive when we are done eating dinner. What kind of joke is that, Nelson? Actually, honey, you're not so late. Let me call my employee to come serve you. Okay. Fiona! Yes, ma'am. Come. Yes, Miss Eve. Serve my fiance. Oh, I'll do just that. Good day, sir. Good day. I know you. No, you don't. Yes, I've met you before. No, I've not met you before. Why are you acting as if you don't know me? Well, because I don't know Henry, her. you don't know her. Exactly. Excuse me. Henry, what was it? Why were you trying to embarrass me in front of my employee? 
Do you know her? Uh, no, he doesn't know her. She looks like the daughter to the lady that we buy um, apples from beside the supermarket. Mm. That's why he thinks he knows her. That's the reason why you saw us talking in the kitchen. Yes, yes. Um, Nelson is right. <laughs> she could be related to the woman. Mm. No, she's not related. So she's from the trenches. I'm sorry, it's a mistaken identity. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, better be. How'd he claim to know me in front of his fiancée? Why? How'd he do that? Oh God. So he has a woman he wants to marry and he... God, what did I put myself into? What did I put myself into? What, what is this? You don't have to be nervous about anything. I have to be. Is it's Miss Eve. Angry with me? No, she's not. You have nothing to worry about. We told her you have a striking resemblance to the daughter of an apple seller. Oh, God. Thank you so much for covering up for me. I appreciate this. It's nothing. It's nothing. We truly live in a small world, you know. You and my brother met a few days ago. You spent the night together. He told you that already? You just did. I only guessed you were the one. With the way you deny my brother, you're a very good actress. As my brother is a terrible liar. I wonder what he was thinking. I wonder. But is, is your brother really getting married to Miss Eve? Yes. Does it bother you? No, no, not at all. It doesn't bother me, it's just that he never mentioned it when we met. Well, the truth is, my brother doesn't really want to be with you. Mm. <clears throat> my fiancé is impressed with your cooking. <clears throat> I am impressed. We all are. So Glad you to won't be fired. Oh, thank you so much, Miss E. Thank you. I appreciate this. <laughs> you shouldn't be appreciating me. The person to appreciate is my fiancé. He's the one that commended your cooking. I'll That's the reason why you're staying. Oh, I'll definitely say thank you to him before I leave. Thanks to you, too. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Well, you have to be fast with what you're doing so you can go home on time. Because I'll be needing you in two days. Okay. Then. You'll be staying here with us for a few days. Days? Do you have a problem with that? No, no, no. No, not at all. I don't. I don't as much. You can send your account number. I'll send your money to you. Okay. Thank you. Two days. Were you actually going to leave without expressing your gratitude to me? Thank you, sir. Is that it? Is that all? Yes, that's all. Bye. It's definitely not bye for me. Love don't cost the time.
Hey, sis. How are you? How was your day? Have you had something to eat? Look, I got you some goodies and you would like them. Mm hmm. Right? Okay, so I saw this beautiful top in your favorite color of my lip I'm excited to get it. I know you'd love it. It's your favorite color. I like it. I know you. you'd love it. I can't wait to see you on it. So what's still in the bag? I bought some other things for myself. These are mine. Can I see? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. I like this. I want it. Okay, you can have it. Thank you. Welcome. Can we talk? Hmm? Talk about what? Anything. Chit chat. So you can, I could tell you what's happening in my life. And Not interested. I just want us to have a conversation. Fiona, I don't want to have a conversation with you right now and not ever. And just because you bought me a couple of cheap tops doesn't mean we're suddenly going to hold hands and sing kumbaya and become best friends. Janela, you can have it. Sisters, it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll just... Best decision ever. Let me, let me help mm -hmm. you. Just stay away from me. I can manage. Shoot. Sorry. Hey, bro. Hey. Hi, Nelson. I searched in the house and I didn't find you. What's wrong? If not that I kept my eyes on her, she would have left without talking to me. Uh, are we still talking about Fiona? Of course. Who else? I'm talking about Fiona. I can't believe that I saw her again. Well, um, I think um, she does you believing it's for the best. Did both of you talk? Not really. Uh, I mean, she didn't want to talk to me. But I don't understand why she's avoiding me. Hmm. And Eve says that she'll be coming here to stay for some days. Oh, no, I don't think that is a good idea. But I thought you like her. Of course I do. But her here you would not end up well at all. How would you cope? You could not even pretend when you saw her. <laughs> and bro, I was in shock. It was like my heart was going to fall out of my chest. I mean, I couldn't even think straight. Stupid me. <laughs> you kept insisting that you know her. In my head, I was like, hey, God, my brother is about to mess things up. I swear mom would have beheaded me. I'm telling you, literally. <laughs> and disown your headless body. She will claim that you want her enemies to laugh at her. Exactly. <laughs> <sighs> but the truth is this. I would have spilled the truth mm. if not that you talked. I would have spilled it and damned the consequences. I was ready. Thank God I was able to stop you. <laughs> <sighs> But, bro, seriously, I know you think you like this woman, but you need to back off. I do not think. I do like her a lot. Like I'm attracted to her. I can't stop thinking of her. That's the more reason why you need to stay away from her. You know the reason why you're getting married? To a woman that I do not love? It should even be you, Nelson, not me. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh. I and Eve, we are not compatible at all. Uh-uh. 
My marriage with her will be hell on earth. We will fight with everyone. The truth is this, Nelson. If not that mom single-handedly trained us, I would never marry Eve. I just feel like I owe mom a lot. And politics, trust me, I do not care about it. Well, mom does. You know, you need to try as hard as possible not to let Eve know that anything happened between you and Fiona. I know. And it hurts me for my soul. I know, bro. I know how you feel. I know how you feel. Babe, what was so important that you asked to see me urgently? Is everything okay? I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm confused. Confused about what? I have a lot on my chest, I need to let it out. I tried talking to Daniela about it the other day, she wouldn't even listen to me, let alone talk to me. That one, don't you know your sister again? See, what is it, you can talk to me about it? Oh, did you steal from Eve? Hell no! I will never do a thing like that. Why would you even think such? I don't know. So what is it? I'll tell you, but you have to promise me you will not tell Eve. Eve! It's about Eve? Yeah. What have you done? Promise me first you won't tell her. Fine. I promise I won't tell Eve. Okay. And you're sure about that? Oh. Yes. If it's a secret, it's safe for me. Hmm. Hello, sugar. How does mama look? Oh, oh. My mama, fine. Yeah. Oh, oh, she can't get fine children on top. Oh, yeah. Applaud me. Men, for that matter. I know. Oh, you deserve a groom prize. Ah, I wish that were the case in this country. Do you know how much I would have made from yourself and your brother? I mean, I would have been counting in millions. <laughs> uh uh, mom. You want to sell us? Uh, don't you know my grandchildren are going to gain from this beauty? <laughs> I can't wait to hold them in my arms. Hmm? Look at the way I'm looking. I mean, I look too fresh for my age. Hmm? I deserve every good thing that I have. That's why you're not bothered about the daughter in law you intend to have soon, eh? Wizard. Kill Joy. You want to kill my mood now? It won't happen. When your brother returns, tell him that I have a meeting with Eve's father. I've gone there. Okay, mom. Be careful. I will. No goodbye, hog. You don't deserve it. How sense. Okay. What? It's, it, look, it, ju it just happened. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I had no idea I was going to see him again. Like, oh my God, you, you're actually serious. Can you just say something else? I don't know what to say. Oh my God, why did you even tell me? Because I wanted to talk to somebody. You're my closest friend. <sighs> Fiona. I love all my friends. But I do not love them equally. I love you more. So that means you're not saying a word to Eve, right? Mm, yes, but I am not a betrayer. Meaning? See, you have to assure me that there is nothing between the both of you. Because there's nothing, I swear. It just happened once, that one time. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking straight, but I swear. Nothing is happening between us. Nothing. Are you sure? Okay, I'm sure. 100%. Trust me. Okay, it's fine. I won't tell her. I'm even traveling very soon for a business trip, so I won't get to see you for a very long time. Thanks so much. Look, I appreciate this from the depth of my heart. You're such a good friend. Father, you're more than a friend. Yeah, yeah. You're more than a friend. So you're like a... Sister from another mother. I needed to get this off my chest. Thanks for listening. Wow.
Such a small world. Yeah. Kunya was going to bump into him again, though. I didn't see that coming. Daniela, Daniela, I'm leaving to my client's place and I'll be there for a while. What? Are you trying to bring down my door? I'm going to be at my client's place for some days, okay? That's what I wanted to tell you before you do anything. I don't need you to do anything for me. You know what? You can go for a month, three months. I don't care. And if I go for a month, how would you cope? How would you take care of yourself? I'm on a wheelchair. I don't have a stroke. Don't twist my words. I never said anything about a stroke. I'm just concerned about you. I've never left you for more than two days. Okay. The fact that I don't have the use of my legs doesn't mean I don't have hands. I can manage just fine, so... Shush. Can you just stop? Why did you even stop the doctor from coming to treat your legs? If you had allowed him, your legs should have been improved by now. It's more than a year. And how do you know that? Besides, it was a waste of money, a waste of my time, and it wasn't working. <laughs> I pay the bills, and I'm not complaining. So let me get this straight. If I were to call the doctor right now, you have the money to pay him, huh? If I don't have it, I'll look for it. I don't need you looking for the money. Just get married to the man so that our money problems will be over. Not today. I'm not doing it. Ah, 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 ah. Come oh. back before you go. I need some money to other things that I need. If it's food, I need everything you need. All you need to do is just heat it up, okay? So you're good. Ah, 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 please. Who says I want to eat that dog food? It's tasteless. It gives me food poisoning. I want something fresh. So are you going to give me the money or not? Okay, chop is on the table. Hi. So you're welcome. Um, Eve says you should start cooking immediately you arrive. Okay. Is she is she around? Oh uh, no, she's not. Okay. I will help you with your bag to your room. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You look really good. Thank you. You're not a good cook. <laughs> good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon, dearie. Mm. I smell it all the way from upstairs. Mm -hmm. Anyway, when you're done cooking this nice meal, make sure I have the biggest portion. Of okay. course you will. Okay. Well, I've been meaning to ask you a question, Fiona. You can ask me anything. So, are you married? <laughs> no, Mom. I'm, I'm not married. Not yet. Engaged? No. I'm oh. not. Well, at least I'm sure you have a boyfriend. I'm, I'm single at the moment. But why all those questions, ma? Well, maybe because I've seen your movement with Nelson. And um, I think you like him. Do you? He's a nice guy. I already know that he's my son. 
We are not saying that both of you could make a really nice couple. I'm just seeing Nelson as, as my brother, the younger one at that. Of course, I should be older than he is. Really? Yeah, it was a shame, my own. I wish I had a son who would marry you. My oldest son is already engaged, so that's out of the way. I really like you. Thank you, ma. I like you too. Thank you. Anyway, let me not make you uncomfortable. All right. So, don't forget our deal with the night stay. When it's ready, I won't forget it. Okay, that's fine. All right, see you later. Okay, ma. coming to the dining. I thought you wanted to pick something up from the car. Um, I changed my mind. I'm very hungry. Oh, mm -hmm. me too. <sighs> Does that taste nice? Yeah, it's really good. <sighs> Wanna try? Oh, Fiona is bringing mine. Mm. Thank you. What time are you going to work? So I'm done eating. I'll get ready. <sighs> Can I pass? How long are you going to keep ignoring me? as long as I can, please. Fiona, why do you hate me that much? I don't hate you, okay? Can you, I need to go to you. We need to discuss what happened between us. Why did you leave without waking me up? Nothing happened between us, okay? Please. Love don't cost the time. Say it's love. Don't cost a damn. <laughs> a small thing like this. <laughs> Love don't cost a dime. You can have all the money in the world, but still you go hard to find. All the stories and all right. You can resist the feeling of your own, but still you go arrest the mind.
Fiona, I need you to elaborate what you mean by nothing happened between us. I can't believe you came here at this time of the night to ask me that. I have every right to know what you mean by that. You stop shouting. It's late and your fiancé could hear you. Well, I don't care. I care. Look, I don't want to lose this job, okay? If Miss Eve hears you or finds out that you're here, she's going to sack me and I don't want that. I'll get you another job. And that will make me hate you. Why do I get the impression you already hate me? Look, I don't hate you, okay? Yeah, I agree, something happened. Yeah, something happened. But it's in the past. Get over it. Move. Move on. Please. I don't want trouble. Love don't you know, you cost the time. The time. You can have all the money in the world, but still you go hard to find. It follows no reason, no rhyme. You can resist the feeling of your womb, but still you go arrest the mind. Even if you try, make you for something. Uh, see, love, you get in your mind. You get in your mind. Are you okay? My younger sister, she's not been picking my calls. Maybe she's not with her phone. She's always with her phone. Is she a kid? No, she's an adult. Then why are you so worried? It's a long story. And this is not the first time she's doing a thing like this. Why? It's a long story. I think I need to take out time to go home and check up on her and be sure she's okay. I'll take permission from Miss Eve. No need. Uh, give me your address. I'll drive there. No, you, you don't have to. I'll rather go myself. I'm sure she's okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. I didn't see you yesterday night. Oh, yes. Uh, I went out to have some fun. Mm. All work and no play makes Jack a very boring guy. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Hope you had fun. Oh yes, I did. You know, I need to get some rest. Okay. I'll talk to you later. You did not eat your dinner. What's wrong? Nothing. No, there's something. When you returned from work, you looked so sad. I didn't have the appetite to eat. Henry, talk to me. There is nothing to talk about. I just want to be left alone. Okay, fine. Where is Fiona? Uh, she went to see her sister. Do you have any idea where she lives? No. Henry, don't find out. Okay. I am serious about it, Henry. I said okay. okay. Um, I'll be in my room in case you need me, okay? Mm -hmm. Love don't cost a time. You can have all the money in the world, but still you go hard. You go answer the line. I hope you were able to see your sister. Yes, I did. She's fine. I'm glad she's fine. <laughs> At least you won't be nervous anymore. Yeah, thank you. You know, if my mom had given birth to a girl, I'm pretty sure it would have been you. <laughs> it would be so nice to have you as a sister. I'll take that as a compliment. It is a compliment. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? What is that? I know you've been ignoring my brother. Now, I'm not asking you to be friends with him, but can you not make him feel invisible whenever he's around? Try to let him know you see him. 
Did he discuss anything with you? He's my brother. I don't have to discuss anything with him. Your silence towards Henry is driving him crazy. I know how he feels when he's around you. But you don't know how I feel when he's around me. I'm sorry. Do you like my brother? Are you attracted to him? My answer doesn't matter, okay? He, he belongs to someone else. Good night. Good night, Fiona. Hey. Hey. So what are your plans for tomorrow? Uh, I'm meeting with my father. He said he wants to see me. Really? But you never told me. Do you know why? I don't know why. Until I get to see him tomorrow. I even want Fiona to run some errands for me. I wanted to get some food items to give to my cousin. I'll be going to the UK. It's for my mom. Okay. I want Nelson to take her there, but I don't know if he'll be free tomorrow. No, I, I could take her there. You will? Yeah. That's so thoughtful of you. It's nothing. I miss you. You miss me? How can you miss me when I'm right here beside you? Of course you know what, I'm, what I want. You see, I'm tired of this abstinence bullshit. You're my man. Yes, I know I'm your man, but look... Eve, I'm, I'm quite disappointed in you. I want us to wait till our wedding night. Oh, come on. I didn't sign up for that. I didn't sign up to get engaged. Wait, what's your problem? I didn't put a gun to your head to get me engaged. You did. I didn't force you to want to marry me. You and your entire family needs me. And you need me too. No, you need me more. Your mother needs my father's influence. You better give me what I want tonight. Or else. Or else what? Henry Adams. You haven't seen the other side of me. I bet you don't want to. Just give me what I want. Fiona. Yes, Miss E. So here's the money for the items that I want you to get. And this is the list. Okay. You're yet to give me your cousin's address. Uh, I'll take you there. Oh. Really? You see? He volunteered. Wow. Such a sweetheart. He will drop you off. Okay, thanks. Fiona, make sure you get everything on that list. Do not disappoint me. No, I won't trust you. I'll get everything. Right. Tell the rest. I'll see you later. Alright. Okay. You take care of yourself, huh? Okay. I will. I love you. Bye. I like your dress. Thank you. Can we go now? Yeah, yeah, sure. What's going on? What are we doing here? Fiona, at least talk to me. On our way going there, you didn't say a single word to me. Now we're heading back home, you haven't said a thing to me. What do you want me to say? We have a lot to talk about. No? Yes, we need to talk about what transpired between us. There is nothing to talk about. Nothing transpired. Really? 
Look, I don't understand why you're doing this, honestly. Why are you being so stubborn? You think this is me being stubborn? You think this is being stubborn? Trust me, this is just part one. Part two is loading. Look, if you have to continue like this, I'll just take a taxi and go home. I can't deal. Fine! Go ahead. Go home so you have to explain to Eve why you came back home alone. Okay, you win. Let's talk. Good. Now, would you please get in the car? Love don't cost a time. You can have all the money in the world, but still, will it go hard? You can answer the love and it costs no reason or no rhyme. Yes, we were initially, but she's the one who initiated it. But after a while, I got fed up. I wanted to call it quits. But my mother found out about it and she almost went down her knees begging me to marry Eve. I can't say no to my mom. My mom sold her rappers, her rappers, to train me through school. She refused to remarry just to focus on her children. I owe her and I have to repay her. I understand, but what about your own pursuit of happiness? Well, I found that in you. Commander. Fiona, I want you. That's not possible. You belong to another woman. But my heart belongs to you. Henry, you can't eat your cake and have it. Fiona, do you even care about me? Do you want me? Look, I have a lot of things going on with me at the moment. I have a kid sister that doesn't like me and always accuses me of killing our parents. What? Yeah. After my youth service, I called my parents to come get me from the airport. My kid sister volunteered to come with them. So on their way to get me, they had a fatal accident. Oh my goodness. Yeah. My parents died on the spot. My sister's legs were affected and she blames me for it. She said if I didn't ask my parents to come that she wouldn't have been paralyzed. Our parents hey, wouldn't have died. But that is not your fault. I know, but I could have taken a taxi. I mean, I had money on me. My father made sure I had money. I had money in my purse that day. I should have just taken a taxi. Don't blame yourself for it. Please. But after the accident, how have you been coping? It's, it wasn't easy and it's not been easy. We had no idea my father took a loan from a bank. The bank took over his company and we had to sell the house to take care of my sister's hospital bills and excesses. Was that the reason you were crying? Yeah, but... I've decided to stop crying and learn to deal with my sister antagonizing me. Hey, Fiona, look at me. You're an adult now, okay? You do not need anyone to treat you like a puppet. Hmm. You should start thinking about yourself. Is cooking the only job you do? Cooking is actually not what I do. I just started cooking because I quit my job. But why did you quit your job? The owner of the company I was working with sold his company to someone else and the new person wanted me to become his second wife so I quit. Oh, I see. I'm sorry about that. No, you don't have to be sorry. I should be the one saying sorry. I mean, I judged you because you... I found out you had a fiancé. I'm delighted that you understand me better now. Yes, I do. Hi, Mom. Hi, Terry. How are you? Not so fine. 
Do you know I forgot to take my clothes to the laundry today? Oh. Right. Mom, please, can you help me take it to the laundry when you're going to see my father tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, of course. You're such a darling. And also, please, pick up some of my clothes that I left with him, okay? I will just call him to let him know that you'll pick it up. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it for you. Thank you. <laughs> so, are, are you are you okay? You're fine? <sighs> I'm fine, but I need to get my beauty sleep. Oh, I understand that. Go ahead and sleep. I, I hear you and Fiona are already on their way home. Ah, about that, I am starving. Mom, please, when Fiona is done cooking, ensure to call me so I can come downstairs and eat. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, hi. What? Why are you staring at me like that? You watched as she was sending me on errands. You couldn't even say anything. See your life. Mom, what, what did you expect me to say? Eh? What did you expect me to say? You caused it. I caused it? Yes. You were even asking her if she's okay. She disrespected you and you swallowed it. You are so eager for a political position. You want, you want her, father's, her father's connection, yeah? Yeah. Keep doing whatever his daughter wants. This is just the beginning. She has not even started with you. Will you shut your trap? Seems you have failed to realize I'm doing all this because of you people. But no matter what, my enemies will not laugh at me. I will get that political position and I'll be successful at it. I don't blame you. If I were to be in my house, would all these nonsense insults be flying out from your mouth? You're ignoring me, Abby. Ignore me. Go! Is it not what you know how to do best? Want to walk away? Walk away! Girlfriend, no. Wife, when are you getting married? No answer. If you were not my son, I would have asked where they rooted you out from. A son that cannot defend the mother. You should not worry. My political ambition will come to pass. Everybody will enjoy. You shouldn't worry. That's it. <laughs> nice. You know, your food is always so delicious. <laughs> you should consider opening a website for food business. You don't need another job. <laughs> but I'm not a professional chef. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I really, I don't. Well, according to my brother, you are a fantastic cook. You make money. All they have to do is make their orders online and you receive notifications. I don't have any customer. Your sister-in-law is my very first customer. She's yet to be my sister-in-law. As I was saying, I will open a website for you, free of charge. Really? Mm hmm Oh my god. Thank you. Are you, are you serious? Yeah. I saw how happy my brother was when he returned with you. So, you deserve a free website. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. What? What? <laughs> you owe me a plate of your good meat pepper soup. It's not a problem. Yes, I accept. I owe you that. Thank you Fantastic. so much. Thank you. I appreciate oh, this. Come on now. It's nothing. It's nothing. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe this. Thank you. Yeah, uh, are you leaving tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I am. Can I tag along with you? I don't mind walking from there. Okay, sure. Why not? At least I'll have company, good company. <laughs> oh my God, thank you so much. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not for me. Thank you. Oh, wow. You I can't believe this is, yeah. I'm trying to cut this up. Thank you. Oh, I can't believe this, oh my fantastic. God. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's proven to stop on the <laughs> Yeah, that's better. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> hey, sis. How's the day? My sister, Daniela. Daniela, this is Nelson. Hi, Daniela.
Um, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Just don't pay any attention to her. She could be like that sometimes. It's fine. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Really it's all right. Fine. Well, at least offer me a seat to sit down. Oh, my bad. I'm, I'm so sorry. Please have a seat and welcome to my little home. I'm Thank really you. sorry about Daniela, honestly. That's right. She could be a handful sometimes, but she's she's really she's a good girl. It's okay. You're welcome. Thank you. You have a very lovely place. Thank you. This is where I lay my head to rest. <laughs> How? Fiona. Mm hmm Can I ask you a question about your sister? Yeah, sure, you can. Your sister looks very familiar. I'm thinking we might have attended the same secondary school. Did she attend Stanford College? No, not at all. Maybe you're mistaking her for someone you used to know. Well, yeah, maybe. Maybe I, maybe I am. Yes, you are. <laughs> Anyways, you're welcome once again and um, what do I offer you? Enough of Daniela. <laughs> In fact, let me get you something. You don't need to see. I trust you, I trust you, <laughs> You're welcome. This is so nice. So nice. Are you sure? 100%. I'm pretty sure I've seen her somewhere. Did she recognize you? That's the thing, no. Or maybe I'm just mistaking her for someone else. Yeah, maybe. I don't think you should bother yourself much about it. Uh, I won't. So tell me, how about the website? Oh, um, I'm still working on it. Just give me a few weeks. Good. Yeah. But don't tell Fiona that I'm the one who brought up the idea. I won't. Okay? I won't. <laughs> You know, I care about her so much. I think I love Fiona. I know. It's so obvious. Yeah, but Nelson, the thing is, I don't know how deeply she feels about me. I think she loves you. You think so? Yes. Um, she made a statement. She said, I have no idea how... She feels when she's around you. She said that? Oh, yes. So what am I waiting for? What do you mean? Yo, man. Hey, mom. What are you even planning? Putting your heads together. I hope it's not my execution. Because I don't trust both of you. Mom, we're not planning anything. Uh, do you want anything? No, thanks. I don't want anything. I just want to inform you people that I'll be leaving tomorrow, going back to my peaceful house. So that you can have the fake peace that you intend to have. Mom. What? I can't marry Eve. What? What did you just say? Mom, you heard me perfectly clear. Mom, mom. I can't marry Eve. I'm not in love with her. Help! Help! Please. Why is that kill me? Help! Please kill me. Please kill me. Mom, why are you doing this? Mom, why are you doing this now? Why are you doing this? Hey, go go kill me. Kill me! Mom, you keep saying your enemies. How many enemies do you even have? Oh, look at the brain for my son. Skip me. Most of the enemies I've been seeing in Nigeria, you will see this game. So, hey, go my ass, skip. Okay, okay, fine, fine, mom, fine. I'll marry her. Fine. Are you serious? You're going to marry her? Yes, mom, I'll marry her. Oh, my son. I don't even want to love to me. See, okay, let's hurry up and go and pay bright price. So I'm going to do this conflict and, 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 and the temptations. Please, the man has promised to introduce me to governors, senators, all those people. I'm going to become what I want to be in this country. I'm so proud of you, man. So, hey, let's do it. Why are you looking at me like that? Go out in your own way. Don't worry. Your decision is the right decision. My son, 
He's very proud of you. <gasps> I know you love the little son. Good thing that he almost gave me a heart attack. <sighs> Give me a hug. Give me a hug. <laughs> My son. Hi, Fiona. So I'll be needing you tomorrow. I need your services for a few days. Hope that's okay. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hmm. Fiona? Yes, ma'am. So, how is the cooking coming? Very well, ma'am. I trust you. I know you've made some really nice dishes in the past. But these guests are very special, okay? So, I need you to do everything you can to make the food superb. I will, ma. You have nothing to worry about. I'm sure I don't. I trust you. You know, any man who's going to end up with you will be a very lucky man. You can cook, Fiona. Thank you. No, I mean, you deserve all the praise. You have everything. You're beautiful. You're respectful. You're intelligent. I mean, and you can cook, then I'm sure you're very fertile too. You know? I mean, what does a man really want? You have everything in one package. Mm -hmm. But I just hope you can make a good choice when it's time to settle down. I okay. wish my first son were, um... well, never mind, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll continue the cooking, all right? All right. right. <sighs> Chief, I am so pleased that you honored my lunch invitation. I'm happy to be here, too. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, we have an amazing cook. Yes, so I show you. You're going to have a nice time eating this meal. Mm. Well, I can wait to meet with her. Mm. Uh, Eve here focus so much about oh, Dad. Yes, she wants to hire her for the wedding uh, and also to be a part of the caterers. That's great. <laughs> she never discussed this with me. Because it's pointless. She don't need to know. <laughs> You know what, Dad? Yeah. Let me go check in on her. I'm okay. sure the food is almost ready. Okay, that, that's it. I'm right now. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, say it's not the food so long. Hey, hey, sweetheart. Hey, bro. What's going on? How are you doing? You good? How did the meeting go? It was successful. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Dad. Thank you, Mo. You're okay. Good afternoon, sir. You are the cook? Yes, I am. How could you choose this lifestyle over what I offered you? Uh, this is a slap on my face. Sorry, uh, Fiona, what's going on? Dad, what did you offer her? It's, it's, it's nothing serious, miss. How dare you talk when I'm talking? I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to my father. I think I know what this is about. So this thing happens to be one of your mistresses. Uh, no. One of your girlfriend. No, Miss Eve, I'm no one's mistress. I How dare you? Oh, stop it. You don't do that. Eve, you need to calm down. It's not what you think. You need to learn how to control this, your temper. That much you do. So this thing is the reason why mom had to travel abroad. Right? You know what? I have had enough of this nonsense. Fiona or whatever your name is, get out of my house. I employed you, right? You are fired. Leave. Miss Evelyn, you need to allow me to explain. It's, it's not what you think, I swear. You don't have any stupid explanation. Just get out of my house! You need to. Look, he's not even my type. Get out! Leave! I, I, what do you think you're doing? Um. Nelson, please take her home. Yes, bro. Do you please come to your Let me take you home. Don't take her home. Drop her somewhere. She can take a bus for colorful nails. And never come back to this house. I am 
the one that whose feelings have been hurt. Why are you uh, looking after her? Why not me? Okay, I'm sorry, please, are you? Please, I'm not in the mood, I'll stand. Please, could you help me get my bag? Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. Just, just a moment. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. Me too. You sure you don't want to talk about it? I'm fine. Could you take me to the hospital? They won't go to my house. A hospital? Yeah. Are you fine? Are you okay? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. So... I think when she returns, both of you should sit down and talk about your wedding plan. Mom, all that you care about is the wedding. What else is there to care about? How about what happened to Fiona today? Oh. The false accusation that was heaped on her. I couldn't even defend her. So her Fiona is not your best. But I love her! You what? When did this start? The night that I didn't come back home, Mom. I met Fiona. And ever since that day, I have developed feelings for her. Listen, Mom. I... I am madly in love with her. What about Eve? What about me? I am your son, your own flesh and blood. Sweetheart, listen to me very carefully. Eve's father has promised to support my political dreams. Even I gave up my career for you and your brother to raise both of you. I gave up everything, my dreams. Sweetie, especially for you. I sent you to a private university. Do you have the slightest idea of how much your school fees you on? I have never met any mother as self-centered as you are. Uh, Harry! Go ahead. Hit me. Hit me! I would not feel a thing. If not that I know where I come from. I would have doubted that you're my biological mother. How dare you talk to me like that? Why? Are you really my best mother? Are you? It's an insult for you to ask me that kind of question. I carried you in my room for nine months. What is wrong with wanting something good for my son? What is the good thing that you want from me? What is it? When all that you care about is money and your political ambition. When it's my right, I gave you life. So it's time for me to give her what I want. Fine. I'll give you what you want. Since I know who you truly are. I will marry Eve. In fact, I'll pay her bright price this weekend. But have it at the back of your mind. That you are the reason that I would never be happy for the rest of my life. Mother. Just give me what I want. Let me check on my sister. I'll be right back. Okay, sure. Daniela! Daniela! I can't, I can't find my sister. I've checked in the room. She's not there. I've checked even in the kitchen. She's nowhere to be found. How? How? She, she's on a wheelchair? Exactly. Her wheelchair is right there in the room and she's not there. 
Oh my God, I'm so scared. I'm worried. I think we should go to the police station. Are, are you sure about this? Of course, where else could she be? Where? Are, are you sure about this? James? Nelson. What are you doing here? I came to drop my girlfriend off at home. Your... Your girlfriend? I knew it! That's why she looks so familiar! Hey, is that your sister? I thought you told me she traveled. Hi, James, I think you need to be... I don't know you can walk. Walk? Be what she's talking about. She's not going to go later. I meet your elder sister for the first time. I can still the honors of introducing her to me. How, moreover, you say she doesn't welcome James! Uh, uh, James, I think you should listen to her. Um, your girlfriend and her sister they obviously need their uh, privacy. They need to talk. Let's let's just get the parents here, okay? Daniela, you've been on a wheelchair for the past six years. How long have you been walking? A year? A whole year? No wonder you stopped the doctor from coming to treat you. You lied to me, Daniela! You lied! How dare you! Sorry about what? What exactly are you sorry about, Daniela? Tell me! The constant attribution of anger and for our parents' deaths? Or the constant bitching that you ever had to put up with? Or the constant bitching? The insult? The insult? What are you sorry about? Tell me! What are you sorry about? I'm sorry. I feel Guilty. Oh my God, guilty about what? Guilty about your bullshit! Guilty about your disrespect! Your childish What are you guilty about? It was me. It was me, Fiona. I killed him. It was me! I was in that car and I was distracted, Dad! Mom told me to keep my I wouldn't. And he took his eyes from the car for just two seconds. He took his eyes off the road just two seconds, and that was it. It was me. I wish I had died with them that day, or I wish I was the only person that died. I know there's no justification for what I did to you, but I was hurting. I was in pain too, Fiona. I just wanted it to stop. I tried to tell you, but one day it turned to six years. All I did was... I just wanted the heart to stop. So I lied just one day, and I, I told myself, maybe if you get lying, one day it will actually be the truth. So every time that I hurt you, I was hurting too. I was in so much pain. I can deal with the pain of being the cause for our parents' death. I can deal with the pain of losing my legs. But I couldn't deal with the pain of you hating me. You are everything. And I hate you. 
You're not you not cast me. You're not. I hate you. I hate you. You're not bleeding. You're not. Nelson, you mean this happens to her? Her sister can walk? Yes. Yes. She, she's even in a relationship with a client of mine. My goodness. <laughs> I feel so terrible right now. I mean, I should have gone with her. I should have gone home with her, not you. Um, I should have been there for her. No, um, Henry, that would have complicated things. <sighs> you have already agreed to pay Eve's bride price this weekend. Yes. Mom has asked her father to send a lease for the bride price. We'll be going there before the weekend. Mom's obsession over money and politics is it's outrageous. In fact, nothing can change her mind. She is determined to get me married into that family. Eve and her father are going to have control over this family. But Mom has refused to see that. Uh, Henry, would you let Eve have control over you. Look, I just really need to see Fiona. I, I, I wanted to be there with her. I wanted to be there for her. I should have gone home with her. I just feel, I feel like a coward right now. Uh, Henry, uh, I have never known you to be a coward. Love don't cost the time. You can have all the money in the world, but still you go hard. You go and the love Fiona. Fiona, I, I'm sorry, okay? I know you can hear me, so... Fiona, please, I need you to forgive me, please. You've been avoiding me since yesterday. Fiona. Okay, go away, please, leave me alone. Go away. Please, I just, I just need... Um, just three minutes, please. Please, just, just hear what I have to say and, and if you choose not to forgive me, then it's fine. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come in with your permission. Fiona. Come in. Why would you do a thing like that? Why? What were you thinking? Do you know how happy I am to see you walk again? Making use of your two legs, Danela. What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I hurt you so much. I was just scared. I'd already lost my parents and I didn't want to lose my sister, so I didn't want you to hate me. I'm sorry. I Fiona. can't hate you. Look. I can't hate you and I will never hate you. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I promise I will be better. I will be the best sister. I will make it up to you. I will win your trust, whatever it takes. Please. It's okay. Um. Everything okay? I just you really cold up your side, so uh, I just want to know what's going on with you.
Hi. Hi. I'm looking for Fiona. It, yes, yes. Um, you must be in Harry, right? Yes, please, I am. Please come in. Um, how do you know that? Um, I'm going to go get her. Uh, okay. Um, I know this might be awkward, but I'm just going to say this. I know your brother is so you about me. And I just want to say that I'm sorry. You don't need to tell me that you're sorry. I, I know, but... I don't want you to see me in that light. I know I, I hurt my sister a lot, and I am just not that person. It's okay. That's fine. Okay. From the look of things, you both have sorted things out. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Yeah, it is. But somehow she's still very unhappy. Hmm. Okay, okay, I'm just going to ask this. Why can't you two be together? I mean, you both love each other, so why can't you just get married and be happy? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did she tell you that she loves me? Yeah. But then she also said you have to get married to some girl. Where's Fiona? Is she around? Yes, but she's in her room. She literally cried herself to sleep. Oh, Donella, oh. who are you talking to? Henry. What are you doing here? I'm not Fiona. I am so sorry that I could not defend you yesterday. It's okay. I suspected that Eve's father was the man who asked you to be his second wife. You don't need to be sorry, it's fine. No, I need to be sorry. I owe you an apology. And I also need to know, is it true? What are you talking about? Is it true that you love me? Why would you be asking me such a question? Well, my brother told me that you care about me. And your sister just told me now that you love me. I don't know if it is true, but I need to know from you. Do you love me? You, look, you're, you're getting married to another person, so my answer doesn't matter. It matters to me, Fiona. Do you love me? That's all I want to know right now. I don't want anything to come between yourself and your mother. I don't want that. Fiona, please, can you just give me a straight answer? Do you love me? Yes. Yes, I... I love you. I, I really do. I love you so much, Fiona. And you know what? You have just made me the happiest man on earth. I'll do just about anything for you. I deserve to be happy. And I do not need anyone's validation to have you in my life. What? Fiona, you have to tell him. Tell me what? Sweetheart, your bride price will be paid next week and there's nothing, nothing in the world is going to change it. <sighs> I'm so looking forward to that, Mom. Do you know the most excited person? Tell me. My father. He has invited everyone, oh. his business associates, partners, dignitaries, senators, and even governors. All he needs is the wedding date and everyone is going to be present in person. Oh, I trust your father. Of course. Mm -hmm. He's a man of his words. <laughs> hey, baby. If we, we need to talk. <laughs> of course. What do we want to talk about, Henry? Come on, please. It's inevitable. I deserve to be happy. Of course, we are. Listen, Eve. I'm sorry, but I can't marry you. What? Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. I'm not interested in getting married to you. I was never interested. How hey. dare you? Hey. How dare you try to humiliate me? Same way you humiliated me when I could not defend Fiona. Your father asked her to marry him. She refused. 
She had to quit her job. But I gave her a befitting one. And then you sacked her without giving her room for an explanation. Wait, 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 what is it? Huh? Is it because of that feeling? Is it because of Fiona? Is that why you're calling up our wedding? Really? That trash? I love her. Yes. Come on. If you've always known that I've, I've not been in love with you, I am in love with another woman. Yeah, but it's okay. Love me. Okay? I love you enough for the both of us. Am I? Do you know what you start to gain? My father is going to give you his new company as a wedding gift. He's even going to sponsor our honeymoon trip to Thailand and I know how much he loves Thailand. So you don't throw something like this away. Look, Mom, my love is not for sale. And look, if, if you like, promise me heaven and earth, even promise me the universe, I'm still not going to get married to you. Here we stop. Fiona is pregnant for me. What? Fiona is carrying my grandchild? Yes, Mom. What? You? Well, she... She can abort it. No! No, we, we don't do abortion in our family. No, it's a taboo. We don't, we don't do such. I can give you a grandchild. You don't, you don't need that. Oh, sweetheart, a child is a blessing from God. Sweetheart, you are so sure she's so, 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 you know, for you. Is it sure. really worth it? You want to what? Forfeit your political ambition for a mere fetus that can be taken out and I can give you? Evelyn, a child is a gift from God and a grandchild. Oh, sweetheart. You are such an hypocrite. After all I've done for you and this poverty stinking family. Shut, shut up! Shut up right now, what I was. If I beat you, you cannot do anything. Mom, please, please. Look please, at please, this please, little please. rat. Because I've been tolerating your rubbish and you think that has to continue? Please. Are mom, you crazy? Please. I would. Mommy, mommy, I will break mommy, it mommy, into mommy, two. Mommy, please, please, I don't want this to end in a fight. Please. Look, if we honestly don't have to be enemies. We are going to be enemies, of course. Yes. The fact that you have called off our wedding, you're going to what? You cheated on me? Take this from me. We're going to be enemies for the rest of our life. Who cares? I can't! This marriage will hurt you! I'm, 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 I'm beating now. You are crazy! Eve, I'm sorry! Look, 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 look at this little rat! Don't oh, okay, okay, okay. this person if I kill you! Yeah. You, you, you idiot! Let her leave this house now before, before I, I pounce on her! Mom, she'll be happy for me. <laughs> oh my goodness! You can't Oh my god, is she living? Leave this house! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is really nice. You know what? <clears throat> I really appreciate you all for being here today. I mean, you all are family. And I'd always love you. Thank you for being here to share this beautiful moment with me. The word love. That's like something we all know about. We hear it every day. Most people yearn for it. But very few people get to experience it. I never have truly understood what that word is. Until I met you, Fiona. It was just one night that has turned to your yearning to be with you forever. Oh, shit. I cannot imagine a moon dream of spending a day of my life without you oh, being so part true. of it. <laughs> Truth is, I, <laughs> I, I can't really express myself. I don't know how to. I suck at this, but I got some good hints from Nelson. Because I really suck at this. You just carry me. Oh. Be my Forever. Yes! 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 Yes!
for me, baby. Congratulations! Thanks, man. Thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip. Okay. Listen, son, I'm very proud of you. Thanks, mom. I mean, if you hadn't stood your ground, I don't know what would have been of my unborn grandchild. Mm. You have to forgive me. Hey, come on, mom. You know there is nothing on earth that I would not forgive you for, okay? You're my mother, and I love you so much. I love you, mom. But yeah. tell me something, mom. How about your political ambitions? Are oh, you worried? My dream still stands. I'm still going to be what I want to be, with or without your car force. For you, right here, are my priority. And I'm happy that you're happy. You're the best mother in the world! Yeah. <laughs> Why are you not saying anything to me? It's time to be the mom that you can use. It's time to be the mom that you can use. Don't cast a damn hair. A small thing like this. Love don't cost a time. You can have all the money in the world, but still you go hard to find. If you love